What's up everybody, I'm John. I'm Isaac. And today on Cars and Cameras, we are reviving the turbocharged 420cc drift trike because we got invited to an air show to do a display and demonstration. So we've been brainstorming, what are the best projects to bring out um, to whip around on in front of like 5,000 people? We're like, drift trikes. Of course. Perfect. There it is. This ATV might not look like much, but one of our subscribers, Jarrett, who comes out to Mini Mayhem a lot, he traded us this ATV for a t-shirt, which was awesome. And uh, as you can see, it has a chain-driven front axle. So we could take it off and adapt a go-kart to be four-wheel drive sometime. Yep. So, and plus also the struts, the axles, all those things can be used on other projects. The hubs. The hubs, yes. Um, is that the Ducati with the oil leak? Yeah, you know the head Yeah, we knew about that, we knew about that. And now a fried clutch, which we gotta fix. Sometime. Oh, God, I forgot all about that. Yeah, I guess we need to get on that. Yeah. Whoo! Man, it has been a hot minute since we've had this thing out. So we built this Predator 420cc turbocharged fuel injected drift track about four years ago, and then it sat because we just haven't had any pavement to drift it on. But it is awesome. Long wheelbase means it's super stable at speed, and it has very high top speed of, I don't know, maybe 50 miles an hour. So I took the old battery off because we knew it was bad, and I put some fuel in the tank, and it developed a pretty serious fuel leak. Um, so we need to get to the bottom of that. But we're going to be using some parts from our sponsor, GoPowerSports.com, including a brand new battery and some nice new wheels and tires. We're using a 15-inch tall tire that's 6 inches wide on a 6-inch wheel that goes on a 1-inch live axle. So we think these tires are going to be good to swap on for riding around out at Ike's place. Because until the event, the only pavement we have access to is right here in this driveway. Be sure to check out links to these parts in the video description and uh, let Go Power Sports know that Cars and Cameras sent you next time you place your order. The fuel system is all primed. Battery's hooked up. Yep. Let's try it. Is that the oil pump? Yeah, that's the oil pump. No kidding. That is awesome. Dude, it's been years. Yeah, seriously. Oh yeah. So we need to replace all the fuel lines. Definitely. Where's the helmet at? Does it hook though? Oh. Did you break the tires loose? Yeah. You ready to get it? Yeah. All right, here we go. It takes a second. Try the uh, Grand Prix? Yeah, I'd love to. All right, the OG Cars and Cameras Grand Prix. You ready? Set? Go.
Alright, what do you think, man? Dude, it's uh, pretty quick. Yeah. I kind of tore up the yard over there. Yeah, I imagine it was probably going to happen. Yeah. Oh, we still don't have a battery tie down. Which uh -oh. is, look at that. Yeah. So it ran like a mid 33 second lap, which isn't super, super fast. It's not the slowest. But for three wheels, it's really good. It's pretty darn this, good. I, I could have gotten a lot better. Really. Like, I bet you this thing would have been in the 20s. Yeah. If I could just give it more power in the corners. Right. But I had to slow way down for the corners because this thing felt like it just kind of wanted to tip over on me. And that would be bad news. Right. So, uh, it this thing is very strong. I mean, it spins tires. I mean, you, you chirps the tires taken off. The can you feel the turbo? I think I can. I'd like for you to try it out and let me know what you think. Sure. Okay. Enjoy it. Pretty safe on my time. What was my time? What do you think it was? It was pretty slow. 35, yeah. It's a lot different than uh, some with four wheels. Yes. Or something with two wheels. Yes. We've both ridden the trike now that it has regular tires on it. We're still not sure if it feels like it's making boost. I'm sure it's making boost, but whether the boost translates into power we're not sure about so we're going to do a couple of runs with boost average the times remove the charge pipe do a couple of more runs average the times just for a definitive answer So we just did four boosted runs with times everywhere from 3.86 to like 4.5. So we had a crazy variance in times. Ike thinks it could be due to the clutch getting hot. Um, so I'm gonna average those times. Ike's taking the blow off valve off. Well, the diverter valve. The diverter valve off. We're gonna run it again, naturally aspirated four times. Dude. Dude. I can't say, believe it. Huh? I can't believe it. I'm going to say it was more like six and a half seconds. It's like five and a half. Five and a half? Yeah. So. Let me crunch the numbers and we'll get the actual times. Okay. Okay. Just to be 100% certain that it is the boost making the difference. We're going to put the charge pipe back on. We're not going to let the computer kind of relearn again. You're just going to go straight to the start line and head this way. Yep. Because if it's faster this time, that means that no, it's not the clutch just getting hot. No, it's not the computer that doesn't know what's going on. It's actually making a difference. Well, or we haven't given the computer long enough to calibrate. Right. You know, so I don't know. Um, I mean, it seems to be running fine. No problems. It's not stuttering or anything. The, it's taking the gas pretty good. But it's just that initial, like, push isn't yeah. there. Yeah. So let's get this thing on and try it one more time. So going back to boost.
On your mark, get set, go. Yeah, I can't believe it. That's crazy. Feel pretty good. Yeah. All right, let's go look at the uh, let's go look at the board. All right, that felt pretty good. So here's all the data from the runs we just did. We did boosted first, naturally aspirated second, and then we just kind of threw in a another boosted one to finish up with. Really interesting stuff here. Um, the average of our boosted runs is 4.04 seconds. The average of our naturally aspirated runs is 5.25 seconds, which means that the boosted runs were actually 1.21 seconds faster. So about 30% faster boosted versus naturally aspirated, which I mean, I'd be willing to say is a significant difference. Not only did we see a difference uh, consecutively with the times, but also the butt dyno. I mean, you knew yourself, you said you were oh, like, yeah. this thing is way faster. So. Uh, just kind of to prove that it's the turbo making the performance difference and not just the clutch heating up, we did the uh, one more run after the boosted, after the naturally aspirated, we did one more run boosted and that gave us a 4.33, which was slower than our other boosted times, but much faster than our naturally aspirated times still. So what I want to know is, okay, we have this 420, there are $1,500 in parts and between the turbocharger and the fuel injection and everything else that makes this thing tick. I want to know, is that a better performance package? Or if we put $1,500 worth of cam, flywheel, valve springs, head work, naturally aspirated parts, what would give you a bigger bang literally for the buck? I want to know. This is good stuff. I can't believe we are just now figuring out that it's faster boosted than naturally aspirated. So, I mean, the only really true way to do this is to swap on a bone stock 420 with no fuel injection. But I think considering, you know, the test we did, I think we have some pretty... Um, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, so, some pretty um, good results. I think if uh, y'all have a fuel injection y'all want to send us, yeah, or, or maybe, you know, whatever else, you know. We'll, we'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> so, in conclusion, guys, I think this was an awesome revival. I forgot how awesome this drift trike was. I'm surprised just how big a performance difference the uh, the turbocharger seems to make over the naturally aspirated. It's going to be freaking great. I can't wait to take it out to uh, uh, to the cart ranch, <laughs> the new uh, headquarters, to sling it around in the dirt there with these tires. It's going to be mean. It'll be fun. Yeah. So, and also, I mean, you know, the data that we got today leads us to believe that it is making more power because of the turbocharger and fuel injection. I feel like it is. Yeah. So um, I would love to continue to explore small engine, single cylinder turbocharging. So let us know in the comments what you want us to boost next. We have a couple of ideas ourselves, but we'd like to hear what you think. So until next time, check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews in between videos for sneak peeks on what we're up to, support the channel and our future builds. And uh, yeah, help us fund the repair bill on our shop uh, by picking up a uh, sticker or a t-shirt at cars-cameras.com. Gotta thank our sponsor, gopowersports.com. Ike, lead us out. Check me out at Isaac, it'll be fine. Perfect.